Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I am going to feature two different programs that will help you mod your Windows 10. And what we're looking at is both of them are from Starduck, and one of them is Shadow FX, and the other one is Windows FX. So as far as that goes, let's get into the uh, what this entire thing is about. It's not really a, a review of the programs. The thing I'm trying to emphasize on this is that you can actually do these things that it's possible because, okay, Starduck allowed us to do this, at least for their program, but is there other programs that could do this? Probably. And then can you add on to it by um, adding on to your knowledge on, to, on the back end? Probably so, and that's a big thing. So if it wasn't possible at all, obviously you want to be able to do things. But um, it, it's that's a big thing I just want to point out with this. It's kind of like the uh, start button, where I can change that um, the icon and everything because it's possible. So as far as that goes, going into here with the shadow FX, what is it? Let's pull up a basic window on the default windows you might notice a, like a little bit of a shadow area around and um, basically shadow FX changes that so if you want to do something a little bit more saturated you can do something like that and uh, and you can basically deal with things of that nature so you can make your own color uh, distance transparency so on so on so on and it's worthwhile to note that but it's also worthwhile to note that um, on certain programs like for example with um, with steam it's extremely exaggerated so if we go say for example the neon blue if we go here we can see it's a bit more exaggerated and also notice that the windows fx doesn't really do anything with here and with steam and i know this with games and stuff of that nature it doesn't do anything but like browsers i've noticed it actually does stuff with um in basic windows stuff it does stuff with but for some reasons like it's games and i'm thinking that's really what is pushing for where games isn't affected with the windows effects but the surrounding area the shadow effects it does affect it so that's a big thing to notice now obviously you can change that change it to however you want and um, and make it wor look worthwhile so uh, as far as that goes um, let's let's go back to the customize and we can also select the color if we want um, and deal with that so as far as that goes um, Let's go to the Windows FX. Windows FX is interesting in itself and it allows me to do animations like this. Um, and let's go ahead and minimize that. So if we minimize this, we get that effect, maximize it, we get that effect. If we close it, we get another effect, and so on, so on, so on. So let's go with let's go ahead and close that out if we go to here the animations we can see that we can tell okay with a window itself um what type of animations do we want on open close minimize restore so on and so on and they will automatically be uh placed and same thing with menus, start menu, and so on. Start menu is more with the traditional start menu. It doesn't work with this, the Metro. I, li I like this one, so I'm keeping that. I can easily switch that over to the traditional 107 Windows XP type of look. But I kind of like it out. the Metro look. It gives me a little bit more information and, and so on. So the start menu, if, if you want to keep the metro in first, it doesn't really do anything there. Thing to note is also with the movement, you can enable the wobble effect, the jello effect, whatever you want to call it. So 
big thing to note is you have the two thing and on Ubuntu you have um, comp compass uh, I, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced but you do have this and I've been looking for this for quite some time in fact and it is uh, it, it is just basically a effect where you're able to drag and, and do things like that it's uh, the difference between the two styles is is basically this is not as configurable and, and it's it's not in my in my opinion it's not that good where this again say the friction the force the speed and so on and so on and like I say for example if we go to say extremely then I can do that and it'll even have a little bit of bounce notice the bounce in fact I might actually am keeping it whereas if we go to I don't know um, well you probably get the idea but uh, let's go with that a little bit less bouncy and you notice it pretty much stops automatically um, it, but it's a big thing to note so with that we can change the animations and plus change the physics so that's a big thing to note and um, as far as some of these other things you can do one of management and stuff like that these type of things I don't really care much for because and, and the reason why I got it disabled is it's already on the uh, Windows has been on for Windows for quite some time so I got things like that um, yep there's nothing that I really care if it gets out so let's make sure there's no pictures or whatever that I care uh, and right click I, I can tell it what to do and all the other stuff so I, I can basically enable this stuff but we already have a lot of these functions this would have been handy a couple generations back but right now it's, it's useless unless if you get like a very particular case that you need it so right click you, you can um, mess with the right click and, and stuff like that in active windows what do you want to do you can say make it um, transparent uh, make it darker so on so on so on so like right here I can make it darker I, I don't know if it just crap out my video by doing that but make it uh, darker or whatever so I can make it semi-transparent and I, I personally don't care for that because the problem is is with that with a full tr uh, transparency is let's say I'm watching a video like I got multiple monitors so let's say I'm watching a video on one monitor and I, I'm doing something on my other monitor, say editing another video. Well, problem is, is that video, like where I'm working on, say the other video or coding or whatever it may be, the other video, it's the video that I'm watching, it will now be transparent because of that. Um, I, I can exclude applications, but yeah, um, that kind of defeats purpose because. <clears throat> okay, I want Chrome Edge and whatever to be transparent, but I just don't want it to be transparent when I'm watching a video. So there's that. Now they might fix that later on. It's not that hard to fix. So here we got uh, flicks and, and stuff like that, um, and desktop icons and, and what to do. Um, and and for the most part. Uh, these are things that you, you you might like, but the biggest ones I want to point out is the animation, and again the uh, wobble effects. So as far as that goes, uh, and and in case you're wondering where this comes from, the uh, bounce. Well, that's where it is. So anyways, as far as that goes, uh, if you got any questions or anything else, then feel free to let me know but um, I'll leave a link below to this I really stress getting the object desktop it saves you a bunch of money it's about same same ish price if you buy multiple of these things that I'll be showing off but 
it's uh and, and they got sales once in a while in fact i got this one on a sale a 19 dollars sale so it's it's not that bad but anyways as far as that goes um if you got any questions or anything else then let me know and i'll try and answer as quickly as possible if you know of any other programs that does this or adds extra things or not so much then let me know because i'll, I'll be interested in seeing what else is out there but uh he was subscribe check out the patreon campaign to help these free videos come out obviously if you feel incentive enough to you know donate to patreon then i know that i need to have enough incentives to make these videos worthwhile it was have a great day